Good evening friends! It is Monday and I took the weekend off and I probably will be taking days here and there off. I was toying with the idea of just stopping this and just stopping vlogging but I can't take a fast decision and I think that is what tells me that I probably shouldn't stop vlogging. Um, I have been struggling for a while uh, here and there and um, the kind of switch in trying to go work half time because I really really need the money and not actually be able to do that much else I have had to stop doing my videos on my craft channel I think it's a very big thing it's very rough to having to really pause my dreams having to reconsider things and rethink about what I'm doing and how I'm doing stuff it's, it's hard it's hard but yeah um, I'm learning and um, I think a part of it will be kind of reducing the amount of vlogs that I do so because I don't don't really edit them I record them and then I don't edit them and I have to sit down and do some editing and I was thinking about doing it today but I'm a bit too tired to do it so we'll see well I'll say I went on a hunt for medications today because I I have a hormone treatment I have one plaster left which I was supposed to take yesterday but I'm gonna take today instead and um, I can't get any more because they can't deliver anymore. The company that makes them have some kind of production issue, which leads to a big problem for me, and that is I can't be hormone treated right now. Uh, I have to call my doctor, and I haven't done that yet, but I have to call my doctor and find how I can do this because, yeah, I should be hormone treated. Mm -hmm. That's that's how it is, um, but when I was out running, I kind of picked up a few things and I thought I'd show you them, including a package that I bought a couple of weeks ago that came in the mail. So, for my first little haul thingy, I got this, which is the Imagine FX. Um, this is about film art, but always have really good ideas and about how color things and stuff. I really like these magazines. I actually picked out my latest magazines uh, to just look through them again. So I thought I'd get another one. It's a lot of, like, they have video tutorials and custom brushes and things and ideas how to do stuff. So I learned a lot from this magazine. So I thought I'd get one more. They come out, like, every month or something. Then I went to Pen Store because I could. Um, I needed a few things, so, uh, let's see, sorry, I got a whole bag full of stuff here. So, I uh, basically, it's not super exciting, got a couple of these, these are pilot, um, pens, and they're like lead pens, but they have coloured leads, coloured leads, so I got the dark blue, the light green, and the purple one. And I got the same colors in lead, extra lead. So now I can color characters how long I want. So I thought that would be would be a try. I love my uh, Prismacolor pencils, but you have to um, sharpen them all the time. So I thought I would try these and see if they will help my art. And then I got some color picks. I got this, which is my G82, because the G82 I had had a cracked cap, uh, which made the brush dry out very, very terribly. So I got a new one, so I have that. And then I got a couple of refills. They are pretty expensive. They're like a $8 each or something like that, $9 each. But I really, really needed them. And, um, how the kind of card pick thing and everything is set up you're not supposed to buy them from like the US uh, you sell either buy them from 
when you're in Europe, you buy them from a European seller, and when you're in the US, you buy them from a US seller. So I went to the Swedish store because it's I don't have to pay for postage and stuff. And I got the two of the toner greys, the T0 and the T2, because those are drying out. I also got the warm greys, 0 and 2. So it's not that fun and exciting, but I really needed them. So yeah, that's that. And then the funny thing that came in the mail. So a little while ago, I got some extra... Um, wool and um, this is how it came she actually packaged it and pulled out the air so you had like package like this kind of a strange way to pack it wool but anyhow so when you open it up it's vacuum sealed so you just open it up carefully and you will it will poof out and I can make my kind of grayish brownish yarn. So yeah, that was all of the things I got today. I still don't know what to do right now. Yeah, I knitted yesterday. I probably should, ah, we'll take it later, we'll take it later. I might uh, continue knitting my sock or I will do something else, do some coloring or stuff. I don't know. But hi guys, sorry for being away. It is time for me to head to bed. It is evening, it is late and I'm getting tired. So I really should go and just lay down and sleep. Today has been not productive at all. Um, I did spend like an hour looking for reference images. Um, I started a, a little, yeah, that was gizmo. Uh, but I, I started a little project a couple of days ago. Um, basically doing some fan art, doing a sketch, coloring in the sketch a little bit, getting a little bit of dimension. Uh, it's not rendered at all, it's just basically a sketch with some color. And the idea was to render it. So I rendered a nose. Um, I think I only shared it on Facebook. I don't know, I might have, might have shared it on. I think I shared the sketch on Instagram, but, but not the nose. But anyhow, I rendered the nose and it looks awesome. Then I spent, like, it was yesterday or the day before, and I spent a whole bunch of more hours re-rendering the nose, um, rendering in, in kind of artist speak, is at least for digital art, is basically just making it look the way you want it to look. It's, just, it's strange, but yeah, you, you get cu quite fast talking the lingo when you're starting learning it. But anyhow, so I did fix the nose and then I started with the eyes and they just didn't look the way I wanted. And finally, I kind of realized the reason why it doesn't look anything like I wanted it to is because she doesn't have an expression. And I'm like, how could I miss that? It's not, she's look, just looking straight ahead, no expression, nothing. I was like, of course you can't do it. You want them to look something. And you basically when you do one of those, you can't be subtle. You want it to be kind of bow, this is how she feels. So I've been just looking and looking for, I think an hour, probably two, for some good, images that I could use. I couldn't find one. That went totally just, no, it didn't work. So I'm thinking about actually doing a little bit of a recording tomorrow uh, with the lights on me and with the camera. And I'm thinking about maybe just having one light so I actually get um, shadow on one side to get a little bit more dimension, a little bit more life in it. They just do strange poses. Um, I also want to do like full body poses so that I have kind of a reference for that. So those are, are kind of the ideas that I'm playing with. Don't really know. I have, still have to figure out exactly what I'm after. 
because I have this idea of her being mysterious and at the same time she's supposed to be cute and kind of strong and yeah trying to fit all that in one I don't know I might have to scale it down so done that and in between I've been writing things on the I've been in conversations with people on the internet and one of the things I hate being admin is I need to take decisions and I can't be afraid of confronting people. I don't like confronting people, but it's a, it's a it's a good thing because I do do it. At the same time, it's a bad thing because I hate it. And on the third part, it is so hard to do it right. Um, I don't know. And I did it wrong from the beginning and then I tried to make it right and then it just feels I should have done it right from the beginning. And I just got mad and I shouldn't get mad. I should try to be objective of things. Not that anyone can be objective. But anyhow, so it's been one of those days. Facebook have been taking a lot of my time, which it shouldn't. I should basically close it down. I've done it for a couple. That's also one of the reasons I haven't really vlogged that much either. I kind of keeping away from contact with people. And also a lot of pain and really, really tired. So all the plans that I was supposed to do mm, didn't happen. Uh, I did get, I think, about an inch knitted on my sock, which is about like 10, 15 minutes of knitting. So it's not, it's not that much, but I did get it knitted. Um, I did try it on my foot. I think I want two or three inches more, but we'll see. But yeah, that would have done. That would have done. I think I showed you my sock yesterday. It's not m much more exciting. Um, but yeah, I didn't show you my sock yesterday. I didn't show you my sock either because I didn't record yesterday. God! Yeah? <coughs> Stupid me. Sorry about that. Let's see. Ah. So, here is my sock. Yeah. So what I'm using is a opal yarn and it looks like this in the ball. It looks like this knitted up. It's not looking at, looking at all what I thought it would. Um, not even the little image here. Um, it doesn't actually show these, these lines as strongly as they are here. So it didn't. Uh, end up knitting up the way I wanted but I kind of it, it works out anyhow um, so I'm knitting it up I'm making a sock I'm making a very simple toe up sock it's just like straight you just do a straight knit which is very very easy uh, especially when you do it on, on round round pieces um, have this to tell me which side is the right side so if you flip it over this is the right side um, then I know that I make that I made a whole row I have a fish lips kiss heel which is kind of cool um, you use a foot measurement I'm not going to show you the other side because I really think that if you want to learn how to do it you should actually go and buy it I think it costs one dollar so it's not much money and it's really good to go to um, to her who have written the pattern but you use this and then you have feet for all of the pe people you do your socks for this is my foot so I want to make more feet so that I have a feet for everyone but anyhow, this is the little heel which sits perfectly on you. I really, I hate, I don't like how it looks when it's like this, but I love how it looks on the foot. So yeah. And then I have my sock. And here you can see I have a little marker. This is just to mark where I was. Um, also where I did the last increase. Because I have pretty wide 
legs and right now they're very very swollen and usually I don't have that good looking legs I don't like my legs but anyhow that means that I have to increase a little bit but I think I need to do the increase of this like in two inches so in the beginning I have more increases that goes out and then sorry. So it actually looks pretty good actually looks pretty good so that is my sock um, I'm planning on making two because I have two feet uh, and it's basically trying to use up the yarn I have uh, clear out a little bit on my boxes and hopefully I will be able to buy more yarn one day but yeah that is that is what I'm doing right now I'm heading to bed so good night slip tight don't let the bed bugs bite bye